Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, and Hispanics are one of the biggest groups making the major life change. In this WFAA original, Joe Ben Pedeker looks into the story beyond their conversions. I was raised Christian. I am native Texan. I'm African American. I was raised Catholic. I have been Muslim for 15 years. And I'm Hispanic from my parents from Mexico. Identity is a peculiar thing. I'm from Mexico, San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Some are finding it. Three, I've been Muslim three years. Some have found it. I've been Muslim for over a decade. Everybody's relationship with God is unique. Nahila Morales' journey to find Islam started in her 20s. My introduction to Islam was 9-11. Living in New York, but born in Mexico. Yo me siento muy orgullosa de and if her Spanish doesn't give it away, es importante que nunca olvidemos de donde somos. maybe her bookcase does. You don't need to compromise, either or. Okay, corre y se va. El valiente. I can be just as Mexican. El pescado. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. As Allah. just as Muslim. El tambor. La rosa. No. She and her son Andrew are part of a growing group of Hispanic converts to Islam. La estrella. <laughs> You know, I remember it like it was yesterday. If yesterday was 26 years ago. Doy clases en árabe y los estudios islámicos. Omar Hernandez teaches Islamic studies here at this school. The number of converts to Islam in Dallas-Fort Worth is in the several thousands. The majority are Hispanic. They're searching for something and they feel like they found it. Right, so I can relate to that. Aquí un círculo. This group of converts meet once a month in Dallas. Some are married into Islam, others have come on their own. How grateful are we truly? Together they talk through social and family pressures. Nahila's grandmother took years to accept she was Muslim. Her mother is now a convert. But there are also pressures within. For born Muslims to accept you as one. I think that's the toughest part. Allahu Akbar. Nahila is with a group called Embrace. It works to retain converts, especially when you hear seven out of 10 converts leave Islam. They rush into the process, they're eager, you know, they, they, and then they kind of fizzle out. Ya tengo 41 años de haberme convertido. But why? Why Hispanics? Why Islam? When most here are raised Catholic. When I became Muslim, I didn't feel like I was abandoning, you know, Jesus. And I can tell you today that I'm a better Catholic as a Muslim than when I was a Catholic. A single mother of one, Nahela says her son Andrew was the driving force. He was my leap of faith, basically, and I said, I want something better for him that will be better for us. <laughs> Andrew, who is 14, is memorizing the Quran. He's already a third of the way through. Hug their neighbor. I say, I love you, brother. I love you, sister. At this annual conference, converts from all over the country are meeting in Dallas. From different backgrounds, they find commonality in faith and in the unfortunate stares and glares from those who don't understand them. Really, our responsibility as Muslims to actually engage and to educate, and we are still falling short. It is still a fragile population, but ask them individually. Mexico City, a Mexican. And their identity. I've been a Muslim for 25 years is stronger than ever. You can be both, very proudly. I'm Mexican and I'm Muslim. In Dallas, I'm Joe Payne. Fascinating. And you know, the highest number of Hispanic converts actually come from the areas around Dallas and Houston. All of them had different reasons for converting. And there are so many Hispanic Muslims now, Houston is home to the only Spanish-speaking mosque in the U.S.